Right, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're finally back with the Everton rebuild. I'm sorry it's been five, five, six days, it might actually, oh wait, five days, yes, five days it's been. I'm very sorry. Uh, FXE, hello, welcome back. I'm very sorry. Um, I had a relaxing end to uh, my week off work, which was pretty nice. Um, I also went away at the weekend, like just past um camping so i had to get myself prepared for that and also obviously i couldn't stream over the weekend because i wasn't actually at home um but i i've also filmed that so i'm gonna have to talk you through it in a separate stream i would have you but basically i put a poll out on youtube on might be in friday night or saturday night um Basically, should I start a whole new channel specifically for hiking slash camping content? And I think, yeah, looking at the poll, um, the majority of people would like to have a separate channel for that because it did feel weird posting the um, hiking and kill that video because that is a lot different to the content that I'm specifically doing now. Let's just say, like, FIFA, it's, you know, it's got nothing to do with hiking. Um, so I think it would be good to, to make a separate channel on that. But I have a video because I filmed myself camping at the weekend. That video won't be going up on this channel. So if you guys are still interested in watching my hiking slash camping type videos, if you've enjoyed the one uh, that i done last weekend, then make sure you just go and check out the new channel, which I haven't created yet, but it will be done by the end of this week, and hopefully the video will be up uh, this weekend coming. So I still need to edit it, and that will take a lot of time. But my main focus in this stream is to look at season t uh, season three sorry, of this career mode. Uh, this is the season we need to win a piece of silverware. We have not. So far, we got the semi-finals of a Champions League last season, to be fair. And the semi-finals of an FA Cup, uh, in which Chelsea knocked us out, scored in the like literally with the last touch of the ball, Chelsea scored to knock us out, which was a massive, massive shame and letdown. Um, but hopefully we will bounce back at some point. I, who are you? I kind of like stealing players from Chelsea, if you can't tell. So I'm tempted to go in for this left back. Do we need a left back? I forgot who I signed. Oh yeah, we've got Jordi Alba. He was literally literally the thumbnail for the last stream because of that goal that he scored, which I haven't actually posted as a short on YouTube. Oh, no, wait, no I have. If he's gone to shorts on YouTube... No, I haven't. Sorry. I haven't at all. I need to post it. The goal I scored with Jordi Alba in the previous stream was absolutely ridiculous. It is probably the best goal I've scored on FIFA. We are only two games into the season. Um, we've got a win and a loss. I think we played, was it Chelsea first game? Yeah, so we lost to Chelsea 2-1. And then we're, we're just pulled back in the second game. Beat Watford 5-1. Uh, we've got West Ham away, which is not an easy game. Also, we Europa League group stage has been uh, sorted out. So we'll have a look at that. Grant, hello, how are we doing? Um, so let's have a look at this. We've got Fenerbahce, Basel and Apol. Uh, wait, Apol. Uh, I don't know how you'd say them. They look... I'm going to guess Ukrainian. Judging by the badge, I'm going to say Ukrainian. But we have some big European clubs here. I mean, Basel... I wouldn't say dominated Europe. About 30, 40 years ago. But they were very good in Europe 30 or 40 years ago. Um, so that's a team to look out for. Fenerbahce, pretty strong team in Europe. Um, We've done so well in the Champions League, though. We should blitz through this group stage. Um, there's a few teams I haven't even heard about here. That, that bottom team, Dejiro Gardens or some shit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jordan, hello, welcome. Um, Villarreal have an easy group as well. This is probably the toughest group so far. Lazio, Real Sociedad, Braga. And uh, also that Poznan team have done very well in real life in the Conference League. Uh, oh, this might be the toughest group. Okay. Borussia Dortmund have not made the Champions League this season. Then they've got Porto Rangers and Sparta Rotterdam, or Rotterdam, which I think are a Dutch team. Uh, Arsenal Galatasaray, Shakhtar. It's not, it's not a bad group. This is pretty tough as well. Frankfurt, Rennes, Victoria Plaza and Helsinki. 
and then Roma, Lille, Genk and Shamrock. It's decent, you know. It is challenging. The Europa League and Conference League, they do not mess about. They do not mess about. The, the team I have and how we played last season in the Champions League, we need to blitz the Europa League. We need to blitz the Europa League. We need to win it. We need to win a trophy this season and it fucking better be the Europa League at least. At least. Um, this West Ham side is not going to be easy to play against. They've got Harvey Barnes, you've got Holgate in there, Saliba, Tavares, Gavi, fuck me, Anthony Gordon, Paqueta, Ings. I usually struggle against West Ham anyway because Paqueta usually scores a hat trick against us in every single game. I've got Gavi in that midfield as well. Um, Team-wise, I don't think I'm going to make a change. I kind of want Bellerin to play because Bogle's looking a little bit tired. But we do have Roberto on the bench. Bellerin hasn't played yet. You know what? Bellerin, come to the bench, lad. I might throw Bellerin on a little bit through the game. I'm tempted to drop Hudson Adoy because Kudus was really good against Watford. Uh, I, I mean, it's not that hard to play well against Watford, but he was still very, um, very good compared to past performances for him. Um, I was surprised me when the give away for once. <laughs> Yes, Grant. Well, to be fair, you won the gift card giveaway. Um, I don't know when that was. I forgot when that was. Yeah, I will get around to doing that, Grant. You know what I'm like. You know what my life's like. It's, um, yeah. Give me time. You will receive the boots. You will receive them. Also, massive thanks to Gillette in the first place for sponsoring that video. Um, it was very, very kind of them. And for letting me keep all of the swag out that they sent. Um, that's very nice. Brody, hello. Also, don't judge us. I'm drinking water out of a... What's it called? Oh, yeah. Hard Rock Coffee glass. I know I rarely drink water on stream. The only reason is I had a can of Monster. Well, I haven't even had the full can. I've had probably half the can. And if you're a really OG person at this channel, you know how I react when I have energy drinks. Fuck me. I thought I was having a stroke. So, yeah. I I'll never learn. I will never learn to not drink energy drinks. Because it fucks me over. Where's Kyogo? He's on the reserves currently. He is on the reserves. Uh... Actually, yeah, Rubens asked as well. Why is everyone so thinking about Kyogo? Should we bring him up to the bench for this game? Well, don't drink Monster. I, I mean, yeah. I suppose. It would make sense. Nah, I just thought I was... I got home from work the day and I just... I was like, I'm fucking... You know what? I haven't had a Monster in a while. I'm going to go to the shop. I literally solely went to the shop to get Monster. I did get a lot of things as well, but I got four pack of monster i don't even know why i got a four pack which ended up costing us nearly five pound for a four pack because i didn't even end up drinking i haven't even had a half of a fucking car i think it might even be a quarter of the car uh kyogo was excellent for you he was that's the key little bit in that sentence there was he is still good he just doesn't play to be as good as what he was because lakaru's was starting to strike i cannot drop lakaru um 40 goals last season says it all uh, and Cavett Lewin is our bench striker so Kyogos were third choice striker at the moment I've got him on development to become a right wing um, player but for some reason that has taken ages and I don't know why it shouldn't be taking that long but yeah this West Ham side is going to be a pain in the arse to play against there's Anthony Gordon Alba oh, couldn't defend it what a save from Pickfords Chance on Bembo's there. Times yellow. You're doing a new league next season. Uh, that's if we win a trophy this season, yeah. Well, it depends what the poll is. I suppose it could be another Premier League side. Alba turn from Maxi and he's away. Maxi! It's not far. It isn't far at all. Do you create a club or Spurs? I tried to create a club last week on it, just. It was a bit naff. I didn't really enjoy it. To be fair, I started in League 2. I started from rock bottom and it just wasn't really enjoyable. But maybe if I start... Maybe maybe just in the Championship or something, I don't know. 
I just feel like it would have been more realistic to start from rock bottom. I know League 2 isn't rock rock bottom, but it's the furthest down you can go in this FIFA, in the English divisions. I'm not too bad, Tomsey. Classic with Kirby. Do a championship, championship team like Burnley? Burnley would be fun. I like Nathan Teller. I think I signed him for... Was it Blackpool? It might have been. I remember I signed Teller and A. Kariyama, and he was really good. Benson Core. He's drifted that way. Glitchy. What, the stream? To be fair, my internet's been shit the past few days. So, that's probably it. And that YouTube is just not the best platform to stream on in the first place. Twitch is astronomically clear. Oh my god, Platter. That's unreal. Platter from distance. He saves it, but I don't know what that attempt was at saving it. I don't know why I dive like that. Now the Ray and Benmar doesn't have the pace. Oh, he does, though. Uh, Lee, mate, welcome back to the stream. It's been a while. Go on, Lukaku. You're a tank fella. Lukaku. We don't fucking play. What's up with me players blocking me shots? What's going on, lads? Benson Core. Lukaku. Crossbow. You now I'll start graft today, of course. Do a Fiorentina or Valencia. Lee, you're grinding me gears already, pal. You should know how career modes work on this channel. We'll have a poll at the end of each career mode. It, it's so I don't choose. It's so it's as fair as I... I didn't choose to do Everton. You guys voted on to do Everton. So it's fair. What's in a die? That's not 1-0 still. Fuck me. How many chances do you just want? Ariola's brilliant. Don't get us wrong. We should not be struggling this much to score, though, with the attacking power that we have. Brilliant. Hudson Adai lays it off. Plata with his right foot scores. It took Plata to shoot with his weak foot for us to go 1 0 up. 40 minutes in. Gonzalo, what a finish. He's got a rugby team on another level. Honestly, not the slightest interest in rugby. Each to their own, though. Jacob, evening, hello. I mean, I suppose you will be, Tarnsey. I suppose you will be. But work, work will be one of the best things for you. I know it's close to whatever. Um, but just wait until you start earning the money. Wait until you start earning the money. Do the world a good. Plus, it. I mean, I don't know much about brickwork and that, but do you not move locations? Or is it, are you literally solely in that location? Do you not move locations every maybe few months or a few weeks, whatever? I don't know how it works like, but... Maybe it's like a different different bit of scenery um, every few times. Bernie Mills, probably Wickham and Lincoln. It would be nice to have a foreign club for the next career mode, because with hearts... Fuck. My memory's really bad. Hold on. I'm just going to have to look back at the career modes. Who did we have before this? Oh, Manchester United. Newcastle. We haven't had a foreign team in this FIFA. We've had Newcastle, Manchester United and Everton. I think we need to move abroad in the next one. Here on that shot out of Newcastle. Oh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Fucking, just before the uh, takeover, I think it was Gareth Bale and Newcastle was one of the biggest things out there. Did that happen? No. It's just, it's one of them things that will not happen. Uh, don't get us wrong, I wouldn't mind Diego Jota, I think he's amazing. A very injury prone, but yet again, what uh, what Newcastle player isn't injury prone? He fits the fucking team spirit, I suppose. 
Tottenham sat in concert. I just saw that before I started the street. Oh my god, I thought that was Jaden Sancho. It's Maswari. I don't know why I thought it was Sancho. Uh, yeah, I saw that concert thing. It's a shame because it, it isn't the manager. That's the problem with Spurs. It isn't the manager. Uh, the problem lies a lot deeper than just the manager. But the owner of Spurs doesn't realise that. Um. But shit for Conte. The, the thing is, no, it's not shit for Conte. He's going to move on to a bigger and better club and win uh, more silverware. So he's in a great situation for himself. He exposed Tottenham and he, he's getting sacked for it. Mind you, the interview was fucking... Uh, that was deep. But, I mean, he had to bring it out. He had to say something. I think Spurs fans will, will miss Conte. See, he is a good manager. Um, plus, he's spoken the truth. It's not as if you can hate him for what he come out and said. He's spoken the truth about Tottenham Hotspur. The, the fans should love him for it. It's a shame that he'll get sacked, but like I said, he'll probably move on to bigger and better things. Manage a much bigger side than Tottenham anyway, so... Bardi, hello. The car one is right, what a save. Ariola's daft. Come on, Platter, son. Platter. Fuck, are you taking a touch, man? Why is Lukaku taking a touch? I think Conte will go into. Possibly. Cavalo and Kyogo. Gomez. Might put Pellerin on as well. Mount Liverpool now to a spell number first. I think Liverpool are still in from. And they're just creating a story. Mate, Bellingham was never going to Liverpool. And never will. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Poch to get Tottenham. The, I don't know why they sacked Pochettino. Got them over Champions League final. Is that not fucking enough? I don't get... The, this is the thing. It's never really been the manager's problem at Tottenham. It really just hasn't been. There's just deep and big underlying problems with Tottenham. But it'll always come back to the manager. Even Harry Kane now like fully wants out and says he's leaving. It's something about like forcing his exit or something. Like Harry Kane will not be a Tottenham player next season. I know I said that in this summer, just gone, but how is Ariola saving that? He can fuck off with that. No oh, bollocks. Fuck off. Save. Mitro was a bit of a fucking idiot, like. I think... This would not have changed the game whatsoever, but I, I think it was a little bit hard. I can understand it, don't get us wrong, don't have a fucking go at us here. I can understand that Willian's been sent off. I do think it's a little, little bit harsh to send them off. I get it though, I understand. So don't have a go at us, but I just do think it's harsh. Mitro, obviously, red card, you can't just fucking manhandle a referee like that. I mean, don't get us wrong, it's soft as fuck, but you can just not do that. We can't. Normalising football, just shoving the referee um, and getting into his face. Uh, and the manager, I don't know what the manager said, but the manager said something that the ref didn't like and then he's obviously sent them off. Calvin Lewin! Oh my god, we've now just won the game. Ariola saves it off the post. Kyogo. Oh, I'm sick of this. I'm really fucking sick of this, like. How many saves has Ariola had? 
Coop Dog, good evening. Good evening. Uh, do, doing a what for the wizard manager. What for are just on a different level of swapping managers. Which player should join Manchester United? I want Kane, Argos and Kim and Raya. I don't know. I don't know who should join. You know, Platama on the match? Interesting. I'll probably go with Benson Core. I think Jordi Alba's up there. Again. I'll take the draw. I'll take it. Jude coming to Liverpool, not even joking. He's not coming to Liverpool. That's the thing. Um, RM 2010, hello, welcome. No, I do have to disagree with you there, Lee. Uh, Jude Bellum is not going to Liverpool. He needs to avoid Liverpool. He can move to a much bigger and better club. In the summer or whenever he wants, I think personally he should stay at uh, Dortmund. I think he should 100% stay at Dortmund. Dortmund have had a brilliant season this season. They're only going to get better. Um, I'd try and win something with Dortmund first, to be honest. Kovacic to Forest. Oh my god, yeah, I've just seen that. I was about a city for 73.8 million. Wait, I've just realised that I can bring a left back in, corner. Wait, what? Why? What was going through my mind the last stream? When did I last stream? Last... It would have been last Wednesday. What went through my mind? Why didn't I buy a left back? I, I bought Jordi Alba, don't get us wrong, but... Why haven't I bought a better left back? What was I doing? Fucking hell. I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Where should that one go? Arsenal or Chelsea? I mean, if I was him, definitely Arsenal. I've, I've, fucking if I was any player in the world maybe apart from to do with wages I'd avoid Chelsea as much as I could don't get us wrong they're not going to be this bad forever but Jesus they are on a next level of being bad right now and it's embarrassing and I'm happy that I can say that because the team I support is now 5th in the Premier League well, fourth for a long fucking time. And third. And second, actually. Things have changed. Can't complain. Uh, he has won something with Dortmund. Yeah, but something big. Like a Champions League or, or the league. Which is probably never going to fucking happen because Bayern Munich just win it anyway, but... I think if their chance... Their chance will come. I do have this. I do have that weird feeling with Chelsea. I do. Enzo Fernandez has just won to Manchester United. In FIFA, United fans don't get your hopes up. In FIFA, he was still at Benfica on this. I must have started this before he moved to Chelsea. I do have like a very weird feeling that Chelsea might actually win the Champions League, and. Well, obviously they'll get Champions League football next season if they do that anyway, but they might literally finish below 10th in the Premier League season. <coughs> right. Thomas Lamar at Liverpool, Patrick Schicht from Real Madrid to Milan. 
Uh, shot back to Spurs. Ooh, I could have done my shot back actually. Left box, man. I'm, I'm tempted to go in for like. I don't know actually. Chilwell? Fucking tempted, like. Hopefully, Napoli. I'd love to see Napoli win it. If I want one team to win it now, it's going to be Napoli. I think if Manchester City win it, it'll be boring because. Yeah, it's like the first time sort of thing. But I just think it'll be a bit boring because it's really overdue and expected. Um, I think if Napoli win it, that's a fucking incredible story. What a season they've had already. And if they've topped it off with the Champions League and the league, which we can technically already say they've won the league anyway, it would just be an incredible story. One for the fucking history books. Freddie, hello. How much money you got? 280 million. Chelsea are copying Arsenal with Arteta on Potter. City have to win it. Statistically. They'll have to win it statistically. Who have City got next? Bayern Munich. I think Bayern Munich might actually beat them. It's possible. I got Leon Bailey. I'm feeling like spending some money. They've smashed everyone. They haven't smashed by Munich though. Well, because they haven't played them yet, obviously. Let's have a look at it. Like. Manchester City. What you just got? How do they average nearly three goals a game? Fuck me, man. Their team's just ridiculous. Bayern Munich will give them a good game. I I think if any if any team is going to beat City, it's going to be Real Madrid or Bayern Munich. Who are two teams left in it? The final, the final can't be Real Madrid City, can it? The way the brackets work. Or can it? What are the way the brackets are? Can City play Real Madrid in the final? Because if they do, I think... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say right here, right now. Real Madrid are going to win the Champions League this season and it's going to be two in a row. Yep. That's what I think is going to happen. They can't. Well, I think Real Madrid will beat... Who will they play in Milan? Real Madrid will beat Milan. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, no, it's Real Madrid-Chelsea. All right, hold on. Natalie will beat Milan, although it won't be easy. Real Madrid to beat Chelsea. I don't know how I'm working this. I'm going to say Real Madrid are going to win it anyway. Madrid would face either Inter, AC Milan, Napoli or Benfica. Madrid to beat Chelsea and then I think they'll face wait no I don't think Napoli will win it I don't think they've got and nah, I, just, I don't think Napoli will win it what was I looking at I was looking at me bench wasn't I? yeah I think Leon Bailey might come in Or Sane. I'm going to go with Bailey. Juventus or United for the Europa League? Oh, I don't think Juventus will win it. I do unfortunately think Manchester United will win it. I, I really hope they don't. Because you will not hear the end of it. 
to be fair, there's still... Bayern Leverkusen are left. I think Bayern Leverkusen could beat United. I thought Rio Betis would give them a good game. That was a fucking different story, wasn't it? They were absolutely dire fucking bollocks through the two legs. They were shocking. So that was a bit of a disappointment. He's willing to take a massive wage cut. Fair enough. Ah, you bastard. Tell me what I'm a little bit like. Leon Bailey, welcome to Everton. From one Premier League side to another. Aston Villa to Everton. You're in a better place, son. You are in a better place. I need a left back, but I've signed a right winger. That sums me up. Playing FIFA. That really sums me up. Right, Patson's gone out. Bay will go there. I think he could be solid. From Jamaica. Obviously, Platt is still going to start, but it gives a little bit more depth to the team. Oh, Brody with his fucking multiple teams. So, biggest club in Scotland. Sign for Impong. I signed for Impong for United, which was literally the last career mode. Kyogo deserves a loan. Egg bye. Fucking nobody wants him. I'll give you the number 29. It doesn't really suit them, but. Got my 29 cent. Yeah, they've still got us a really old hair in the game. Come on. Sort of out. Fucking hell. Hortz and Falkirk. Shankland, Clear and Kike. Is he naming like fucking rugby teams or something? No clue. Big Maurice, yeah. Zauri? I was not one of Brain. I wonder if he's actually getting played. I've just realised. I've put Gomez and Zauri out of the same club on loan. That's cool. It's just not that cool. But. Yango still has a man out on loan. Zinchenko? I was thinking about Zinchenko. It might just be Chilwell. I might just go in for Chilwell. Regalon wouldn't be too bad. I'm thinking this man right here. Ulay and I would be brilliant, don't get us wrong. But I think we need to go in for the better option. That's going to be Chilwell. He's going to be expensive. Try 39. Ooh. I don't really use silver. But to Chelsea? No. I wouldn't give them up to Chelsea. 42 in cash. Take it or leave it. Pat Azizia. Malasia. Malasia's just went to Spurs in the summer. So I'm not going to go in for Malasia. Four years of chill, well, four years of injuries. Sounds about right. And he's willing to take the wage cut just with a massive bonus. Fucking suits me. I've got enough to pay the bonuses. And then I'm paying less weekly for the player. Fair news. What are you going to give us an A? Excellent. Ben Chilwell. Be prepared to sit. In the fucking physiotherapy room for four years. Wait, why does body have a different account? Nice one, Kieran. Who in? 2023 and still years on in my streams as main fake accounts. Seriously. Like, fuck me. It's ridiculous. Um, anyway, Ben Chilwell added to the team. Look at that, man. Everyone's nearly 85 plus. They're not. I've seen like four players under 85 overall, but it works. Great stream, keep it up. Four foot two. 
I always appreciate your comments. Thank you a lot. Legend. Definitely Lennon. I don't think Lennon's got the... Like, capacity in his brain to be able to do that. To be fair, I say that. Lennon's going on to do bigger and better things than me in life, so... I can't really say anything. Lennon's child. Oh, this thing's back. For fuck's sake. Who who owned that account before? <laughs> Pellegrini. Oh, Pellegrini's left Liverpool already. He's went to Leipzig. Fair enough. I always say Perez to Nance. Um, who's leaving? Who are you? Reese Welch to Luton. Oh, Sevilla want the. Ooh. Now that is fucking tempting. Hold on. I know I've done this with Zaniolo at Newcastle, but I might just try it again. Are they going to bring any more players in? Probably. I do have a lot of money. I'm going to attempt this with Lukaku. I tried this with Zaniolo, and they actually did accept it. 100 million, and I sell Lukaku. No. Right. I was going to say, surely not. Surely you don't accept that. Could you imagine? Um, no, I don't know how much to sell Silva for. How much is he worth? Apparently 29 million. 40 million for a player I don't use is... Uh, yeah, fair enough. Paz, the thing is, I needed Eric Bailly. Well, I, I could have done without him. But if I want depth in my team. Osman, get him. If I sold the Korku, I'd probably get Osman. But 30 million for Bogle's not bad. He's still only 24, though. Right, look at this. So my starting left winger is Alan St. Maxman. So on right winger is Platter. My backup right winger. Is by fair enough, he can kind of play on the left at the same time, but he's going to be so much better on the right where he can cut him with his left. Kudus always plays down the middle and never play him out wide. And then, apart from that, I don't have any other winger. So, well, I have 58 overall Maurice. Thank Killian. I actually have enough money for Mbappe as well, I think. Well, 169, it's probably not even enough. Cucurella's ended up going to Bayern Munich. I kind of want Moisey Keane back. If I saw Lukaku, I'd probably go up for Moisey Keane or Victor Osman. I know there's a big difference between them two players, but <clears throat> Atletico Madrid won Silva, 40 million. It's done. And it's an excellent deal for us. We've got a lot of depth. 42 million for Gomez. Don't get us wrong, Gomez has been brilliant for us, but that is a lot of money. If we can up this to exactly 50 with a 10 cent sell on clause, 42. Let's go 47. But oh, I'm not going to accept the sell on clause. Oh my god, who are you? Evan Olsen, 83 overall. God, they've got, yeah, they're, man, they've got a good team. They actually have a really good team. Fair enough. Fucking fair dues, you know. Simmerton, Chris Smolin. It's not bad. I might try and get this for Fauna bloke. Put 30 million plus for Fauna. Too much. Fair enough. West Ham wants Souza. To be fair, anything for Souza is worth it because he just never plays because he's bad. Would giving them to another Premier League side be a bad decision? I don't know. 23.8. Let's go 25. 25. Done deal. 
David Moyes approves. 25 million, I bought him for like 20, so. Common fingers just went to City. Are you t oh my god. I'm never going to be able to win the league. City are just ridiculous now. They have everyone. Legit, they have everybody. How do I do, um... How do I look at the other teams again? So I'm Benzema. I'm not going to do that. Wouldn't be worth it now. Uh, Top look at City's team, dude. How did they get the last? How's the 83 overall? He's shit. Alright, still got a Kanji Bustos in there. Camavinga. Shell Cancelo, Diaz. Edison. Gaia, Phil Foden, Gomez. Uh, Grealish and Gomez. Still got how 94 overall. He's worth 181 million now. Oh, yeah, about well. Pavard, Ped that midfield of Pedri and Camavinga. Morgan Rogers, Rodri, oh my Jesus. Who the fuck's Joe Scully? Bernardo Silva, Stefan's still there. James Trafford in there now as well. Pau Torres in at Santa Park. It's an insane team. What a team they've got. It's going to be hard to beat them, like. That's Sousa leaving us. He played a total of, like, under 10 games by Everton. 108 million for 94 Australia is only 24 as a bargain. I don't know. I mean, I'd probably have to pay more than 180 million. That's just his actual worth. You would have to end up paying more than that. I think I'm done. Finally. Because I got Chilwell in. Is there any more places that can upgrade? So I got Chilwell in. I think I'm fine. Right. We're going for it. We're fine. That should last us until January, and we'll see who we'll uh, bring in in the January. Uh, oh, hello. Not too bad for academy players, these. Hello, Lemon. We've got Brighton in the league. No, I think the first Europe League games I've got. I'm not glad I wouldn't have minded the manager. Thingy, though. Denmark. Warrington. Yeah, I think it's time for Warrington to leave. He was pretty good when we used them. Yeah, we've got Fenerbahce midweek. It's like a Madrid one, Kyogo. Short term loan. Will do. Brighton, they're also on four points. Right, they've got Matoma. That Undav kid is broken. Harry Winks as their captain. Why don't you do training? Kremod keeps the player's stamina up. I'll just do the simulated training. It's, it's just as easy. Bayern Leverkusen. I'd, I'd love to do a Bayern Leverkusen career. Like. Right, uh, I think I'm going to play Kudus in for Hudson at Die this game. And we will let Chilwell make his debut. And I think Hugo can come up again. Try and get him some game time again off the bench. So the only change is Kudus and Fortson and Doi. Schalke. Well, Schalke, I do need a rebuild to be fair. I 
Three goals in three games for Kudus. Righty. Brighton at home. Not an easy game whatsoever. And they've got Undav, who always scores against me in career mode. Mind you, the awareness in Christensen is amazing. There's Lukaku. It's a nice pass out already. Chilwell first touch isn't bad. It's a good ball. And Chilwell has his first assist with his first touch. It's Benson Cole with a header. 1-0 up just like that. Ben Chilwell on his debut. What a delivery. That is the left back we needed. Jordi Alba's been amazing for being free. We just needed that bit of reassurance in left back. And look at that delivery, man. Benson Cole winning the header over the centre back. His first goal this season. He got seven between um, January and the end of last season when we signed him. He's been insane. Benson Cole's been brilliant, honestly. He has Plata now. Turn from Kudus. Calvin Phillips. It's out to Chilwell again. Chilwell delivers. Kudus on the header this time. Should bring it down. Uh, use his feet there, but Phillips has done brilliantly. Nice ball. Platt with a little flick on. Kudus, first time. The Corgan, what a save. David Raya, brilliant goalkeeper. It's a brilliant save. Maxi wins the header back. Platt's out. Been all over Brighton in the first 15 minutes. Oh no, Calvin Phillips. You're falling like Gerald there, pal. Bogle. Could not win the ball. Good save from Pickford. Lennon, hello. Lukaku, Kudus, good turn. Not enough to get it past the defender. Christensen, mate, what are you doing? It's a good block. Oh, Bogle, that is a lovely challenge. What was he called? Offside for Matuma. It was a brilliant challenge anyway if he was onside. Phillips, man, for fuck's sake. Bemba. Bogle's done very well. Phillips needs to wake up in the midfield. Lukaku. It's out on, say, Maximin. Should be able to take it all the way here, Maxi. It's a well-delivered ball. Kudus, what a save. Good use of the feet from David Raya. Chilwell. Stop sweating me Mars in bed. That's Chilwell again. That's a really good pass. Benson Cole a save. You need to be doing better there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Never. Maxi. Oh my god. That sums on St. Maximino. There was no need for him. Did he take that with his left? There was no need for him to do that. Big win from Benson Cole. That's Plata. Oh Oh my god, skips away from the defender. Good save. Of course, he wins the follow up. That's a good pass. Offside again. Matoma was offside before. 
I'm really trying to drive way too early. Phillips, that's a lovely pass. Chilwell, it's a good ball as well. Chilwell's been immense. Chilwell again. It's every time it's just a nail on ball into the box. It's what we need, it's what we want. It stays 1 0 at half time. Not too much after the goal. Chilwell in there again. He's been involved with everything. Maxi. McCarty might be off yet. If he isn't. It's not a good attempt. My bad. I'm in the wrong there. I'm bolt. I'll play on. Chilwell again. Look at this run. Ah. First misplaced passes, huh? That though, recovering the ball, Chilwell has been incredible. What a player. There's the car too. Oh, that's a dreadful pass. It's a good ball. Christensen closing down. Chancellor Bemba's there anyway. Beautiful defending. Chilwell, what a ball. Kudus flick on. Beautiful football. Lukaku over the top. First time. Benson Core. How does he miss? And Kudus has pulled a muscle. Bollocks. That was immense football. Right, Hudson Adoy on. I think Calvert Lewin on for Lukaku. Um, I'll do that for now. Kudus injured. He very rarely starts over Hudson and Dye in the time I have. And he hasn't played too bad today. He's got an injured. That was brilliant football there, though. Oh, and Bamba. You idiot. Chilwell. Wins the ball back. Oh, no. And gives the ball back way too easily. This is not good, lads. Brilliant from Christensen. Just need to get rid of it. This is lovely football. Maxi. He's away with it. Ah, oh, bollocks. He's done so well there as well. We need a second goal there. Don't know who it's going to come from. Career off the bench for Brighton. What a signing. Christensen, lovely challenger. There's a free kick, unfortunately. He set the crossbar. Pickford stood still, he had no chance. Ah, he couldn't get the ball away from his feet. Phillips has went diving in. Phillips again. It's ballsy defending, lads. What are we doing? Right. Luke Bart on for Chancellor Bemba. I think Gomez on for Phillips. And Eric Bailly on for his debut. He's coming on for Platter. Maybe if I'll buy you off a bench. Platt has been sent through here as he's about to come off. It's a first time ball and an evil. Cavalloon really overruns it. Ben a lovely challenge from behind. Benson caught. Oh shit. And Ben Barn misses the challenge. Well, fucked it. I said we need a second goal, and this is exactly why we needed the second goal. This is exactly why we needed that second goal. 
because of this. Is he not offside there either? Alright, last changes then. F absolutely fucking balls to lead there, lads. Mark seat. Benson Court. Covert Loon. Touch in die. Cut. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a good interception. Touch in the die. Maxi, you can't miss that. 87 minutes in, and he might have just won us the game. It's a massive three points at home. I'm loving it. Look at that. I'm in with the players. Heap on the floor. Alan St. Maximin. What a ball from Hudson Adoy. You can't miss it. You cannot miss it. Lovely, neat finish. Ben, mate, hello. Is this your last game of the stream? I'm going to play against Finabache, and then yes. I'm going to be live over on Twitch tonight, though, people. There's a new horror game in town, uh, so I'm going to be playing that live with Kieran. You guys seem to love him over on Twitch. So yeah, I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch after this. New horror game. Um, I'm excited to play it. You know I love me horror games. Gomez. Ah, oh, he couldn't get the pass off. I don't know what team to put out in Europe. I kind of want to weaken the side a little bit so I can kind of keep the K players for the Prem, but I don't know. As a big win. A big, big win. Pretty even out game. Maxi should be. Actually, yeah, to be fair, she'll win man of the match. What a debut. Honestly, what a debut. Um, a brilliant performance. Assist will literally like his first touch. Uh, you can't complain. Right, a 20 minute video is too long for FIFA. I just cut down five hours of recording. Seems like that's a short start. Get it. I mean, I'll live stream Korean World episodes, so I can't really say much. Um, but I think for like a, a video of FIFA, if it's Ultimate Team, I think 20 minutes is too long. I think I'd aim for like 10. I, I highly doubt, like you say there, you'd be able to shorten it anymore. But I think between like 10 and 15 minutes, or like maybe 12 minute videos, if it's Ultimate Team. Korean World, I feel like you can get away with having a much longer video or live stream. Um, Thanks, that's like the career mode episodes I used to upload I think the longest one ever was was 30 minutes or, or just about 30 minutes which I think was that Leipzig career mode that I'd done I've got Wolves off this as well Newcastle have a talent and he's like what a player he's a brilliant player Could yourself for four weeks. It's not great. That's pretty much. I mean, at, at the end of the day, but it's your video. It's completely up to you. If I was making that video, I would. Yeah, I'd probably aim for between ten and fifteen minutes. <coughs> I think it just depends what kind of content it is, for how long the video should be, you know what I mean. We have Fenerbahce in the Europa League. I'm excited for this one, actually. It's at home as well. Back-to-back -back home games. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. Get our morale all the way up. Okay. Tell you what, there's nothing like a good old glass of water. Two months ago, I'm slacking. I know. I know. It's not good enough. Right. Uh... Right. I'm going to go in with Gomez for Phillips. 
Oh, cold metal. Uh, I don't know, Ruben. I do not know. It's a good question. I think I'll tell me change. Gomez in for Phillips. Let's go with Luke Bynes for Chancellor Mbemba. And Bemba has been brilliant. But they're playing a very attacking uh, football here for Nabachi. Well, they've got an attacking formation. We'll see what we can do. Europa League. A little worse than last season. We're in the Champions League. We got the semi-finals. And we ended up finishing fifth in the Premier League. Instead of fourth. Which is where we finished the season before. We had a pretty successful season. I was about to say he's offside, but he can't be offside from a throne. Oh no, it's 1 0 already. Jesus. This is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. I've took Chancellor and Bamba with the team and then I've conceded. Oh, it was really good little fake there to let it run through his legs. Bogle. Bogle, lads. Fuck me. Still might recover it, like. Pla. That's a diet fast enough for that. Well, oh, fuck off. What? How is that a pen? Christensen's been booked here. Oh, fuck me, man. It's a contact sport. It's a save from Pickford. That's theirs again. What a save from Pickford. 12 minutes in. It'd have easily been 2 0 for Nabachi. It's a lovely header out. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Good block. And again. And again, Christensen. It's straight pick for that time. Maxi. Can't get the ball off in time. Chilwell's not fast enough, has he? Oh, God. Luke Baz done well recovering. Oh, fucking doodle do. Heroics from Pickford. That is incredible goalkeeping. What is going on outside of the goalkeeping? Jesus, man. That's a terrible pass. It's not even the pass I wanted. We're getting the totally dominated here. Two nil. Two fucking nil, lads. You back at work now, mate? I am, unfortunately. Oh, he's really brushing him off. Oh, dear. Two nil down. At home. Look out, he won't even have a sniff at that goal. Gomez. Benson Cole. Plata, oh my god. If Plata's not performing. Who is going to? It's 3 0. Luke Bart. He hasn't even got the ball at his feet, man. It's another save. He's missed two penalties in a row. 
Another save from Pickford. It could easily be 4 0 with them pens. And now at the other side. Yars Hog. Oh, seriously, fuck off. I can't be arsed. Yellow for Plata as well. What a shambolic first half. Be non stop chasing the ball. Can't defend. Yeah. 3 0. Make a fucking run, you lazy prick. Goal. Fourth. Uh, might as well be fucking fourth. 3 1. What is going on, though? I mean, defensively, shit. Attacking the shit as well. Maxi's pulled one back, though. We're all over. What the fuck is going on defensively? Nothing's changed. I've brought Luke Bowen for Chancellor Mbemba and that's it. That's the only change I've made. Surely that has not fucked us up defensively. 3-1 down at half time. At home. We're not even away from home here. Right. Chancellor Mbemba on. I can't risk Christensen's yellow, but we're going to have to. Gomez off, Phillips on. Eric Bailly on for Platter. Three changes at half time. It has to be done. Eric Bailly on for Platter. Chancellor Mbemba on for Luke Bar. And Phillips on for Gomez. I think I should have sold Gomez there. Oh my god, the offer. Maxi's in here. Straight from the off. He's fucking missed it. He's missed it. Golden opportunity. You cannot let that fly. Bye. you. He's doing well, yeah. Eric Bailly. What a ball and one assist. Callum hudson has one back. It's 3-2. I keep on saying Eric Bailly for some reason. It's Leon. I used to always do this. I sign him for someone else. Uh, who did I sign him for? Might have been Hurth or Berlin. I kept on calling him Eric Bailly. Sorry for that, people. It's Leon, mate. Leon Bailey. It's not even Bailly. It's Bailey. What an assist from him, though. He's off again. Bogle. Off at the cross. Oh my god, Lacotte who smashes the crossbar with a header. We've all of a sudden turned the fucking jump as on here, lads. There's more like it. The changes have helped. Chilwell, immaculate left back, honestly. Calvin Phillips. Lukaku! What a save. The chances are coming, lads. Leon Bailey. Christensen, it's off the line. Goal line clearance. Leon Bailey again. Benson Core. It's off the line again. What the fuck? Funabache, goal line cleared it twice in a row there. What have I just witnessed? Billy, mate, welcome back to the streams. What on earth have I just witnessed? They are defending for dead, dear lives. That is incredible, incredible defending. We're going at the Magenia. Calvin Phillips, Lukaku. Maxi. Callum Hutzner, die, oh, what a comeback. What a comeback. 3-3. Three, three. Get in. 
Callum Hudson a die. What a difference a second half makes. Chester down, bang. Rolls it past the goalkeeper. Three all. What a comeback. Lukaku's always been quick. He's, he's never as quick as what he used to be now, obviously. And Bamba's been brilliant since he's come back on. Definitely still a better option than Luke Bellog. Leon Bailey. Bogle. Bailey wins it. Phillips. Oh, fuck me. That was dreadful. Oh, Pedro's in. Chilwell can't take him off the ball. Oh, they've scored again. Oh, God. I've let them score again. That was way too easy. 4-3 for Nabache. Went off to attempt to bring this back again. Maxi. There's no way. Maxi! He's incredible. 4-4. Four, four. After they've just scored. I don't say maximum straight from kickoff. A brace from him and a brace from Carl Mutz and a die. Incredible football. Christensen, he survived the whole game on a yellow as well. Him. Lukaku. Oh, he's been put off. So the top scorer on Europe last season. No. Oh my god, a save. What a watch this would be, it would be incredible. Right next to the away fans here for Fenerbahce. That's a good touch from Bailey as well. And Bemba, he's done well. Maxi. Phillips. A die! Oh my god, what a save. Fuck me. Just for this corner alone, I'm going to bring Calvert Lewin on. Just for this corner. You know what he's like in the air. A car who goes off. Leon Bailey. He's got one job, son. It's a terrible ball. It's a fucking dreadful ball. And Bamba. Yeah, that's it. And Benton calls in, John. I think that is. I'll take the draw. I mean, after going 3 1 down. Well, we went 3 0 down. Um, I'll take the draw. A good watch, though. That was brilliant. Yeah. I will definitely take the draw after that. It's a shame. Uh, man, the match goes to João Pedro. Two goals, two assists. Fair enough. I mean, Sam Maxman was immense. Um, brilliant from Bailey. Hudson and was class. It's brilliant stuff. I'll take the draw against Fenerbahce. They're probably the toughest team in that group. Anyway, Galatasaray have beaten Arsenal, which is massive. Can you chat to us? next non comment video? I don't know. Um, I'm actually making a separate channel for my camping and hiking content. Um, so I'm going to have a completely separate channel for that anyway. Um, I have a new camping video ready. I just haven't edited it yet. And that's going to be going up on that channel. Sal Platt and Stop Bailey more. Did I just hear Sal Plata? Jesus. What planet are you living on? 
three months for Benson Core. This is where my season goes to shit. Three months without Benson Core. By far my best midfielder. This is not going to end well. Gomez just ain't the same anymore, lads. Tottenham to decide Conte's future on the next 48 hours, apparently, people. Anyway, I'm doing Nottingham Forest crowds, and I'm 8th halfway through the season. That's good. At least it would be a good fit, to be fair. Any particular reason to have a new channel? Um, well, I put a poll out in the community page of this YouTube channel, and the poll was... I'll tell you. The poll was, should I make a separate channel for hike and slash common content... And 57% of people said yes, 35% of people said they don't mind it on this channel, and 9% of people said no. Um, plus, the camp and slash hiking content is content I want to make, but it doesn't fit in with the content that I post on this channel. This channel is solely, like, mostly to do with football and live streaming. Um and a, a camping video out of the middle of nowhere just doesn't really fit in with this. Um, so that was what. But it is a channel I'll keep up because I'm going to keep up camping. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep up hiking. I'm going to keep up all that. So, ah, that is the reason. But yeah, people, I'm going to end this here because I'm going to be going live on Twitch for um, a voted new channel. Like, yeah, I, I just feel like not for sort of the fact of I don't want you to see that content it's just it makes sense the the people who've subscribed to this channel have solely subscribed to either for me personally or for the footballing style of content um, mind you the common video is still done really well and I got a sponsorship out of it which thank you to Gillard for that sponsor um, I do really appreciate that that was amazing to have um, so I got a sponsored video out of it and everything and the video's done well on the channel but yeah I think doing that on a completely separate channel solely to do with that type of content would make sense what do you plan on doing on this channel then uh, just continue what I'm doing I rarely upload videos anyway as you can see if you go on to my videos I very rarely actually make videos my channel is based off live stream so I only make videos if it's like something massive sort of thing like of if I'm doing a game and setup to our video which I still need to do because I haven't done one with my PC yet so I still need to do that uh, things like I mean Christian R2's death um, sort of big news sort of things four four against Frankfurt I just have fucking four four against bloody f what do you say? Fenerbahce. Uh, right, let's have a look at who we've got tomorrow then, before I end the stream. Got Bryant again, but in the cut this time. A lot of draws in the stream. Uh, Wolves, Aston Villa, and a lot more for European games. Didn't realise till the other day. It's actually good shit. I'm not gonna lie. The thing is, I'm not even just saying for the sake of that video that their stuff's good. Like, it actually is good. This stream isn't sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Jalut. It was one video that was sponsored by them. But I'm telling you now, their shit is actually good. <laughs> that coat that I have is incredible. It is really waterproof. I'm always flexing it on the Instagram and everything just to literally prove how waterproof the thing actually is. It's incredible stuff. Um, I cannot thank them enough for that. But yeah, I've got... I went camping on Saturday, uh, like Saturday night, and I have um, the the clips and that there that I need. I just need to put it together. But that video is going to be going up on the new channel. I'm also going to repost the Kielder hiking video on the new channel as well, uh, just to see how well that does on that channel. But yeah, that channel is going to be completely separate of this. It's a channel, and I don't expect everyone from this channel to go over there and subscribe, but if you just want to watch that kind of content and you just enjoyed that Kielder video, because that's what the videos are going to be like, then I would advise you just to go over. I'm just going to try and get somewhere else. Um, for now, they've just sponsored that. Uh, I haven't had any news about sponsoring any other video, to be fair. Um, 
it was solely Fallout video. I would like them to sponsor future videos. Um, yeah, it's very hard to get sponsors. I've emailed so many companies, like numerous amount of companies uh, for sponsors and the majority of them don't get back to you. Which I'm not surprised. I'm not the biggest YouTuber out there. But I do my job. Yep, I'm going to go now though, people. I'll be live over on Twitch in about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to be playing a new horror game with Kieran, so that should be good shit. And we'll be live on there for about an hour or so. Yeah. Thank you so much for the support today. I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's streams. Peace.